Last episode, we sold off Deadweight to bring in Upu Makano. So with our team ready to face the rest of the season, can we finish in the top four? Hey, what's going on? Respect, Jeff here with another episode in this Chelsea career. Huge game to kick this one off, guys. The second leg of the Carabao Cup semifinals against Tottenham. But before we get to that match, it's the career event of the episode. And here we have it. Play as Piliqueta in every minute of this episode. Unless he's injured, of course, which... Uh, we'll leave it out of our hands, but we need leadership at this stage of the season and he's the man to do it He's been our captain all season long uh, And he will be for the rest of this season for sure if not several more seasons to come uh, So with that said we get up to our game against Spurs here as Piliqueta in that back three We're going with the lineup we've been using it's been working and all we need to do is edge them out for a win here All right, here we go strongest starting 11 available to us is out there on the pitch uh, maybe with the exception of Pulisic, who still is out injured, but with Werner up top, he has been wreaking havoc on defenses as of late, and we're looking to get an early start on the game here. Chilwell getting in behind already, and he puts a ball in, deflected, back to the top of the box here, Sizoko getting it away now, and Davis charging all the way up the pitch, rolls Ziyech in the middle of the pitch, and Kane trying to settle, someone looking for a shot here, Lamella plays a beautiful ball through, and a shot point blank at the keeper, Onana sees it away, and Spurs with the best chance of the game so far. Tammy Abraham, though, plays through a lovely ball, and he finds Havertz somehow with that pass, who's still going. Havertz looking to take his man on with an elegant gliding run there, but it's straight into the feet of the defender. Conte trying to close the ball down in the middle of the pitch, and he does so successfully, although the ball continues on its trajectory towards Lamella, and Conte once again closing down. This guy is something else in the middle of the pitch. I feel like Conte almost doesn't make the cut on too many of my highlight videos here. He doesn't offer a ton going forward offensively, um, and obviously the defensive highlights aren't quite as fun to watch, but let me assure you he's probably the most important player for this team, constantly winning the ball back and setting off counterattacks. Well done by Chilwell to get up the pitch there. Uh, neither team able to do anything significant uh, so far in this game here. Abraham looking to play a ball through. It's a lovely one for Chilwell, who finds the back of the net, but it is just offsides. That must have been a really, really close call there. Abraham doing well to pick out some of these passes as of late. He's been a little disappointing in terms of his finishing and movement in front of goal, uh, but he always gives his all and uh, some of these passes through have been successful for the team. And Lamella in the box, shut down by Thiago Silva, another one of our very important players here. Between him and Conte making all of these important interceptions and tackles, uh, we really are having a solid defense uh, in the later stages of this season. Great ball played through for Havertz now on the wing and looking to beat his man. Oh, and he just can't pull that one off yet again. Like I said earlier, nothing too much coming off for either team so far here. Ziak looking to make something happen in the middle of the pitch. Kovacic plays it through and Werner hits it across the face of goal looking for Abraham and on the follow-up to goalkeeper gets there first and Lloris is out there to grab the ball. Good effort from Chelsea. Still yet to break the deadlock though. Sizoko plays it through. Deli Alley, Aspilicueta with a really hard challenge there, gives away a free kick in a dangerous area. Not a ton of time left here, nothing came from that move though. Fernandez in the box now, the substitute coming on, Thiago Silva makes the block, and it finds its way all the way to Onana who rolls it back out to the captain. Can we hang on here? Uh, looks like a case of probably whoever scores the next goal will be in good shape to go through. Obviously that one goal lead from the first leg would be enough to keep things steady here, a shot from distance, not too far off at all. Can we grab a goal here to put this tie to bed? Kai Havertz keeps going and still going. Havertz cutting inside. Oh, surely not. Well, saved by the keeper. Great effort there from Havertz. He did all the hard work, just couldn't finish at the end of the move. It was a tight angle, to be fair. Now Tottenham with maybe one more chance here at the end of the game. Zuma, great challenge to see that one out. And this might be it. Booting it downfield. The whistle blows. We're going to the final. Chelsea keep Tottenham at bay. Nil-nil. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Liverpool or Manchester City in the final. Uh, we'll find out Liverpool had an advantage in the first leg, but uh, between those two teams, anything can happen, so we'll check back in with that later. Uh, in the meantime, Declan Rice wants to start the next match. He played so well in his first uh, appearance in that cup game an episode or two ago, so we're going to go ahead and give him the start here against Burnley. We're in seventh place right now. Results starting to pick up, uh, but we need to make sure it's consistent. We're sticking with the 3-5-2. I'm going to put Havertz up top. He's just hasn't been able to get it going really on the wing, uh, so it's going to be Reese James there, a little more defensive of an option alongside Showell uh, on the other side. Rice and Mount alongside one another, the two best pals in the center of the pitch as Piliqueta in the back line. Um, and guys, if you've been enjoying this series, please consider subscribing. Help me reach my goal of 10,000 subs. It helps me out so much. And on we go here. We take on Burnley up next. 
Alright, back in action at Stamford Bridge. Can we make it yet another win for Chelsea? Uh, well, compared to the Tottenham game, at least, this one should definitely be more winnable. Burnley been struggling this season, although they sit really deep here early in the match. We have so much time on the ball, they barely touched it for the opening 10-15 uh, minutes here, but we just couldn't quite find a shot through on goal. Ziyech looking for the give-and-go here with Reese James, can't find it, and it's a reckless challenge there by Ziyech. Uh, probably will get called back for a yellow, but Burnley uh, looking to make something happen. Ball over the top, it's a poor one, it's a throw-in for Chelsea. Uh, can't we get something going here? Declan Rice picking the ball up, early touch is on it. And it's played all the way back here, trying to work it out of the back of Zuma, looking for the option ahead of him, and it's a terrible mistake, gives it straight away to Wood, and now Rodriguez in the box, and he punishes us for that mistake. Kurt Zuma again with a mistake this season. Well, that's not the first time he's given the ball away that led directly to a goal. Uh, he's a solid player defensively, but mistakes like that will cost us. That is so sloppy in possession. And Jay Rodriguez did not have much to do to beat Onana. Just like that, we're down. And we need to get ourselves back into this game, and quick, we need three points here. Ziek takes a touch around his man. Taylor does not get the foul given. And play continues here. Burnley, I definitely thought that should have been called back, but we got to play on here. And Burnley really looking the better side so far, aside from some early possession from us. With nothing much to show for it, Declan Rice looking to close down now. Well done from Rice, and now he's away. Can he pick out the right pass ahead of him? He's got options in the middle, finds Kai Havertz. Play continues here. Can he pick out a pass? No, Havertz giving the ball away. Really disappointing, to be honest, from Havertz. These past couple of games just hasn't done much at all. Um, obviously a class player, but he's just not showing it as of late. We're playing him down the center here in hopes that he can get more involved. Ben Showell. Can they link up again now? Werner, play continues, lovely stuff. Reese James threw on goal, and it's saved by Loughton. And Showell on the follow-up, looking for a shot, and again, seen out by Burnley. Well, that's been our best chance so far, uh, but unfortunately, we're still a goal down. Kai Havertz looking for some options ahead of him. Good pass, it's good vision there to try to find Werner. Doesn't quite find his feet, though, and the two of them not linking up too well, the German duo. Burnley... With possession outside our box now, Wood looking for a shot, and again looking disorganized kind of in this back line. A header right in front of goal is sent away by the Chelsea defense, but only Justin Burnley continuing to look the more threatening side. Zuma putting in a challenge, and this time it is successfully away. Hakim Ziyech looking to play the ball forward. Again, no call given there. A harsh tackle in on him, and Burnley headed back in our direction. Coming towards the end of the first half here. Brownell inside Rodriguez blocked again as Piliqueta. Can we just get rid of the ball here? We're playing out from the back. The whistle blows, and we go into halftime. A goal down and not looking really like getting back in this game at all. Havertz picking it up, looking for a way through. Werner played through. Reese James sliding in, and it's not too far off at all. Chelsea still unable to get a goal here. Played out from the back, though. Well done by Azpilicueta to win it back. Ziyech gets his head up. Beautiful pass through for Havertz. And surely this will be a goal, lays it off, unselfish, and Werner there to finish it up. Well, there you have it. It's the linkage between the two German players up top. Just like I was saying, we were lacking all game, and they finally get it going. Kai Havertz, so unselfish in front of goal, lays it off for Werner, and he had a free shot in the back of the net. Chelsea level now, but it's not enough. We need three points here. Lovely link-up play. Werner finds Mount. A couple options ahead of him. Can he pick out the pass? Yes. Ziyech ahead of him. Now getting his head up. What can he do here? Hakim Ziyech, not too many options, making runs ahead of him. Sneaks the ball through as Pelicueta in a crossing position. Puts it up in Mason Mount, unable to get to it. But it is recycled out once again as Pelicueta. Declan Rice, N'Golo Conte, top of the box. Timo Werner cutting inside. It's blocked, but fortunately falls to his feet again. Another chance off the goalkeeper, and it's trickling towards the post. How has that stayed out? Chelsea still level. Great opportunity there, and we just couldn't cross the line. 86 minutes in now. Can we turn the tides of this game? Rice progressing the ball forwards again for Havertz, who puts one through. Werner is through on goal now. Will he take a shot or no? Lays it off. A repeat of the earlier play in this game. This time, Havertz could not finish it off. And again, very disappointing in front of goal uh, from our expensive signing this season. Declan Rice does well to win the ball back. Can Chelsea get another chance here? Maybe our last. Werner looking for a shot at the edge of the box, and he can't convert. Again, Rice winning the ball back, though. Werner... Going to play it through. Conte, give and go, and he's through on goal. Werner, this time it's saved again. Chelsea just can't get the go-ahead goal, and that was our final chance. Well, it wasn't for a lack of opportunities, but we couldn't finish, and we do end the game level. 1-1, only a point apiece, and that's just not enough. Poorly done from the team. 
All right, well, it's transfer deadline day, 10 hours remaining to get our business done. Uh, I think our business is done though, unless any big offers come in, we get one more for Fikayo Tamori uh, for a hefty amount as well, but uh, we don't want to sell him to Roma. He's one for the future. He's one I want to give a lot of minutes to alongside Upa Makano. So we close out the window. Transfer will not happen. We're keeping our uh, homegrown boy. Uh, and we'll see how he progresses over the next couple of seasons. Uh, next up, it is Leeds, and we are down in eighth place after that result. Two points dropped. I mean, we should have been on 45 points along with Arsenal for that fifth place position, but we're not right now, and that is hugely disappointing from Chelsea. So not that many games left in the season. Every single one counts, and a couple huge games coming up. Leeds is a must-win match, and then it's away against Inter Milan in the round of 16 in the Champions League. A huge, huge match for us, uh, followed by Fulham in the league. Another must-win match and then after that Manchester City in the Carabao Cup final uh, like I said this will be a make or break month for Chelsea um, so we go to this one we can rotate a little bit um, I'm actually gonna go with a back four this time uh, Abraham just hasn't quite looked up to it. I want to try Havertz down the middle, and Upa Makano also uh, subs in for Zuma, who has not had a good time of it as of late. Uh, Mendy will be on the bench, the goalkeeper for this one, and that is the uh, team that we have going into this match, so it's Leeds United away, and let's get to the game. All right, here we go, back into action against the Leeds, who are struggling this season, and it's time for us to try to capitalize here. Uh, Abraham does start up top. Havertz right behind him, looking to regain some form, and Werner cutting inside from the wing where he's playing this game. Tries to sneak a pass through, can't quite do it. And Golo Kante looking to play the ball through to Abraham, can't quite pull it off here. Some good energy from Chelsea in the opening minutes here, and Kante pushing high up the pitch, wins the ball back, and he gives it to Abraham right in front of goal, and there you have it. The opening goal goes to Chelsea. Tammy Abraham, hard to miss from there. Uh, all the hard work done by N'Golo Kante. All over the pitch so far, uh, forcing mistake out of the Leeds back line. That is really poor from their center back, but we'll take it. Uh, and once again, N'Golo Kante making the difference by winning that ball back. He's so, so good defensively and in the transition. Forshaw, though, playing the ball through Leeds United, trying to get themselves back into the game right away. We know what they can do offensively. A really deadly team, uh, especially on the counterattack. Um, but uh, so far, we're in front, and we'll see if we can keep that going. Kai Havertz cutting inside, lays it off. Timo Werner one-on-one -on -one now with Luke Ayling, and it's well done from the right back. He wins that one back for Leeds. But Chelsea, it's been all blue so far. Havertz plays one through, and it's not far off looking for Ziyech. Chelsea looking threatening always on the attack, but unfortunately we know we have a goal in us uh, defensively most games, so uh, we need to make sure that we at least get another goal and really uh, solidify the win here, because like I said earlier, we need, uh, desperately need all three points if we still want a shot at cracking top four this season. Thiago Silva now plays it out. Lovely stuff as Piliqueta on the wing. Kai Havertz looking to get the ball forwards. Abraham give and go, and Havertz... Still in some space now, charging all the way out of our half, using his pace. He's so surprisingly quick and elegant, too. How about that? Dancing inside, no right to score from there, but Kai Havertz does anyways. Well, that's what we've been missing from him the last couple games, and he's playing in his preferred position just behind the striker. Well, this kind of technical ability is why he's often called by commentators in real life a Rolls Royce of a player. He just looks so smooth on the ball, uh, just makes it look easy. And what a finish at the end of the move to Chelsea 2 leads nil. And we're starting to impose ourselves on the match here. Well done from Thiago Silva. It was threatening from Rodrigo in the box and leads still a couple of options ahead here going to the second half. Rodrigo again looking the most threatening player. Lays it off. Hernandez again for Almada who puts it in the back of the net but it's just offsides. Huge mistake from the Leeds back line. They had us beat. It was only Upamecano one versus three uh, but the man just couldn't keep himself onside. Got a little greedy with it perhaps and we maintain our two goal lead and the clean sheet so far here. Conte gets the ball forward. Havertz sneaks it through for Abraham. No one really ahead of him. Well done to just play that ball back and nothing comes of it. Leeds United getting forward now. Rodrigo, again, the most threatening player for Leeds. He gives the ball away, but um, unfortunately, nothing comes of that for them. Abraham getting forwards now. Well done to keep a hold of possession. Kovacic, Abraham still going. Outside the box now, shot from distance. Had some power on it, but not the accuracy, and it goes wide of the post. Just hasn't quite clicked for Abraham aside from that goal early on in the match. Timo Werner lays it off for Havertz. Options ahead of him, Declan Rice. Oh, lovely stuff from Chelsea. Timo Werner has a shot blocked by Casilla, and it's great build-up play. Should have been a goal there, really. Uh, it was a tight angle, though, I suppose, and Conte now gathering the ball up off the corner kick, and he's got options out wide. Hakim Ziyech 
Plays it through for the substitute, Hudson Adoy, who's through in space and he's just offsides. The cross looked good, but unfortunately the play was called back. Declan Rice doing well to win the ball back again. He's been immense so far in this previous two games. Plays it through for Hudson Adoy. Inside now, Werner. And surely it's three. Chelsea really, really looking good in this match. Another goal for Werner, who is having an absolutely outstanding first season at the bridge. And we definitely look to have wrapped all three points up with these three goals. But can we make it four here in the dying minutes of the game? Werner lays it off again. Rice, Conte, play continues. Ziyech through in space now. What can he do here? Cutting inside on his strong left foot, and he curls one in. Well, that's the beautiful kind of shot that we've been looking for all season with Ziyech. We haven't quite seen it for him in front of goal. He hasn't scored too many. We know he can assist for sure, uh, but with that kind of whip on the ball, he can certainly score some cutting inside. Absolutely brilliant stuff from our right winger slash attacking midfield talent. He's such a wizard with that left foot. Look at the curl on that to find the far post. No keeper in the world is going to save that one. So 90 minutes played, four goals to Chelsea and three points go to us. Hopefully this is the turning point in the back end of the season. Not too many games left. We really need to rack up the points in them. If we want top four, we still are definitely within a shout. Uh, three or four points off that spot. Uh, but we need to make sure that our opponents drop points as well. So on we go. All right, well, unfortunately, Mason Mount not super happy with his minutes. And I gotta find a way to get him incorporated more into this team. He, I know he hasn't been playing a ton, more of a substitute for us. Uh, but our next match is Inter Milan, so it's gonna be our strongest starting 11 for that. It'll be some of our toughest opposition so far this season, but it will come next episode. Hey guys, if you've been enjoying this series, please consider subscribing to the channel, and I will be back soon with another episode. But until then, I'm Respected Jeff, and I'll see you next time.